Okay, today we're going to do the mean, median, and mode in SQL Server. And um, the mean is probably the, the easiest of all of them right off the bat. Uh, let's say we're going to look at uh, data from Tesla's stock, the, the price that is a one from TSA. Hey, yeah, there you go. So we can look at all of the um, the whole 600 values of Tesla stock. And if we were just trying to get the average price, it would just be the simple, um, there's our mean. That's the average price of Tesla stock. Okay, so that's probably the easiest one to do, um, to think of. And uh, the mode is fairly simple. There are a couple of ways to do that. Actually, one I'm thinking right off the top of my head may not actually be the right way to do that, but I'll try it this way. Um, However, uh, one second, and this may not work only because, well, I guess it does. Um, because of the price, you can see, so the mode is just the most frequent value, for those of you who don't remember statistic or yeah, statistics from high school. So what we can do is, um, on the mode, we can... We can order by, I think we can group by it and then order by count of price. I may be wrong. I may not be able to do this, except we want to do descending. And then we could do select top one, uh, probably not distinct top, well, maybe distinct top one. Either way, the, as you saw with the previous query, that would give you the answer. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, so there's your answer. That's the um, that would be the one. That's how to find the mode. So that's one example of how to find the mode. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. I have to keep that in there. All right. So and that was that was off the fly this morning. Way too early to be solving problems. Um, because one of the other way that you can find the mode, which is a lot longer, this is I declare a table, insert values. Uh, the identity field is is there, but um, so take note of this identity one one, and then this time what I did is I used a common table expression, and I selected star from the table. Um, in the common table expression, and then I used dense rank over. I'm ordering by the SA, which is this decimal value. That's the one that I'm ranking it by, and since I'm ordering it by that, there's the frequency, and so now what I want to do is I want to just select the top one, and I'm going to order it by that frequency descending. So whichever frequency comes up the most. Um, and this is a way that you can also calculate the mode. As you saw from the previous example, though, this seems to be kind of complicated. This is a little bit longer than the other method, which would be more than sufficient. Okay, so that's all that. Median is a little bit trickier. Uh, for those of you who know, median in statistics especially is far more accurate um, than the mean. So for instance, median income is more accurate than mean income because what it means is 50% of people have that income or are less than that income or 50% of people have that income or are above that income. Uh, so it's actually a, a more accurate measure uh, than, in my opinion, than uh, the mean. And it, again, it depends on who you talk to, but uh, that's kind of the way that I look at it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to use code from my GitHub to uh, to answer this. But I will declare i as an int first. The reason why I'm going to do that is because with median, so median is going to be taking the average of the middle two values if the overall amount of values is even. And if the overall amount of values is odd, it'll take the middle value, right? So think about it this way. What's the middle of 10? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So 5 and 6 are the middle values. But what's the middle of 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So 5 is the middle value, uh, whereas the middle value of 10 is 5 and 6. So that's a little tricky because if it's even then we want to take the average of the middle two values if it's odd we just want the middle value so 
one second. I have not used this in a while. So we're going to do with median as, and then we're going to select the date. We're going to be selecting from the same, yeah, the same table. Uh, we're going to select the price, and then we're going to select the row number over, and we're going to order by price. Oops. And we're going to choose the data from Tesla historical data. And then what I want to do is control Z. Laptop keypads are killers here. That and it's too early in the morning. We're going to select the price. We're going to select PD. And then we're going to select row number. Oops. Row oops, number over. And order by. PD, and this will be descending PA. And then we're going to select this into, notice we're going to put this into another table from median. So that table. So, really quickly, because this is pretty obvious, we know that the, the table has a price and a date on it, right? So you're probably thinking, what's this row number for and what's this row number for? Okay, so this row number is ordering by the uh, price, because we're trying to find the median price. If we were trying to find the median date, we would order it by date. If you're trying to find the median 200 uh, moving simple moving day average, we would do 200 simple moving day average. But we're trying to find the median of the price. So it's going to order this by ascending, right? And it's going to assign this value, PD. So, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ascending, not descending, um, I believe. I might be wrong about that. I get that confused sometimes. But ascending, I, I think it's 1 to the highest number. Then we select from this common table expression. In fact, I think I could just do it this way really quickly. Yeah. No, I had it backwards. PD is going to be starting from the highest and going to the lowest. PA is going to be starting from the lowest, going to the highest. I always get those backwards. Anyway, um, so, so we're starting from the highest value, 598. So we have an even value. That's what we have uh, even values in our table. And then PA, we're going to be selecting, we're going to flip it around. That's all we're doing. We're actually doing the same row number over, and we're ordering it by this value here, PD, and we're doing it descending. So where this is 598, the last value, essentially, this is 1. And that makes sense because Tesla, the, the last date that I have in the stock table from Tesla is 161 is about where Tesla is when this table was ending. So this would be the last value. And uh, sometimes we can do the check. Okay, so we're going to insert this. Basically, we're going to put this into our new temp table, which is going to be median example. So 598 values are affected. I'm going to go ahead and code this out so I can keep my declare I up. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically check and I'm going to say if i equals 1 and begin and select star from median where pd equals pa. No. Okay, and so of course on my example here, what I forgot to do is um, you will multiply the overall amount. You will declare i, and i is going to become, um, actually it should be a bit, but I guess it could be an int too, but i is going to be whether the table, the, the row count in the table, the total amount of rows, 598, is even or odd. So it's 1 if it's even. I'm sorry, 1 if it's odd, and if it's not, then it's going to be even. So 0 will be even. Okay, and then of course, we'll do else begin. And this is a perfect example of a morning that I have not had coffee yet. It's like, whoa. Too much math, too early. Okay, where PD between P 
PA minus oh no no no. Okay, so if I take that back. This is correct. If our table is odd, there's an odd amount of values. Yeah, if it's odd, it's going to be 1. Um, there will come a point, if you think about it, if you order 1 through 9, and then you order 9 through 1, you're going to cross 5 is going to be at 1. 5 is going to be the equal point of both of those. Think about it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 when you're ordering it ascending and descending, 5 is the same point. So this right here is a perfect example with median. We're selecting median where PD equals PA. In the example, if we had 9 values, that would be where 5 equals 5. That would select star, would select the price of median. Okay. Um, down here, What we are going to do is we are going to select for medium where the PD, this, this is the, um, hold on a second, PD is the, the price ascending or descending between PA minus 1 and PA plus 1. And you could flip that around. It could be, I believe, I, I tried it with PA between PD minus 1 and PD plus 1. You can try that at um, uh, with some sample data and I'm pretty sure you'll get the same because the logic is the same. That is because now we're dealing with an even value. So it's like with 10, right? So think about 10. If we're ordering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boy, try to count backwards early in the morning. That's, that's actually pretty difficult. Um, so we're going to add 1 and subtract 1, and that is going to be our, our middle two values. And um, you can see, for the record, uh, because we know that we have 598 rows, right? So we have an even amount of values. We have two values, right? Now think about it. Our PD is 300. Our PA is 299. Our PD is 299. Our PA is 300. So think about it. Okay, so PD is PA minus 1. So PD is 300 minus 1 is 299. And it's between and PA plus 1. So uh, PA plus 1. PD is going to be equal to PA plus 1, which would be 300. So there you go. And again, in the example of 10, it would be 5 and 6. So um, of course, it's funny I don't have it here. But actually, we would do average price because we're taking the average of these two, which is, if you look at it, you'll see, oh, that's going to be the same, right? Yeah, 331.49. So now for the record, with median, um, there are numerous ways to solve this. In fact, if you type in, I think, in Google, T SQL, get median, you can find numerous ways to get the median. This is a, a fairly effective way, and um, the, the one thing I forgot about this example is my bad, was this should, this I, can, it can be a bit or a small int or a tiny int. But the bit, um, or this int up here, this i, should be equal to, if there's an even amount of values in the table, then it's going to be uh, 0. If there's an odd amount of values, it's going to be a 1. So keep that in mind. But in a stored procedure, for instance, you could pass these values into it and then determine the median of a price, the median of income, the median housing price, you name it. Um, this is how you can do it. It's a little more complicated. Like I said, average and mode are super easy. Median is just a little bit more complicated in T-SQL.